Hello ladies and gentlemen that want to help out the special ladies in their life. My name is Daniel and welcome to the top 10 CCW pistols for women. They will actually carry on body instead of their damn purse which will get them killed possibly. So guys um, and ladies I should say. My name is Daniel. I've been uh, teaching self-defense martial arts my entire life, doing all kinds of martial arts for 34 years, been shooting my entire life, and been uh, carrying concealed the last five years or so in various states. Uh, I'm going to do the boring part and talk a little while before we get to the top 10 list because I want to share tips with you about carry that are going to be very important before you just listen to some guy's advice that he's thinking about for him instead of for you or until you just take the advice of the minimum wage worker at the gun store that's just trying to sell a gun okay often they give very very bad advice so i brought a few pistols out for you and then we'll get to the top 10 list but most important is to carry on your body that's why this list is a little different than some others unfortunately there's a lot of new carriers out there uh, so some of this is for newer people but also a lot of advice and the pistols i recommend will get more towards the more advanced as well we always have to consider safety now how women dress is different than how i dress a lot of your body types is different than me i'm 5'11 240 pounds then doubled sloan fought pro a few times what i can get away with carrying the three pistols i have on me for the purposes of this video is a little different than maybe what you can carry or shoot effectively because of recoil, body weight, the size of my muscles, etc. With proper training, of course, all that can be negated, but we're going to kind of go towards more uh, the newer shooters, uh, if you will. I happen to have three firearms on me, but I want to show and make a point. This firearm looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And it is a great home defense pistol in my best five pistols for new shooters if you have large hands for home defense. This is very, very heavy and very, very big. Now, I can conceal it and sometimes do when I'm only going out of the house for three hours or less. Can most women conceal this? Not most. And at least the original versions of this with the big wide grip and the long trigger reach, it's not a good choice for. Uh, anyway, what about this really rare revolver I happen to have? Could this be good? This could be okay, but this is pretty heavy for a revolver a woman would actually carry. And what we're going to try to avoid is you just throwing it in your purse or leaving it in your car or back at home because I'm just going to the store for a minute. Or I'm leaving it in the car because I'm just going in there. Oh, that's a cute dress. Let me go in. And then you're in there for an hour and a half. So this not on you doesn't do any good neither of these will this is a double action revolver which has some benefits like a long trigger pull which makes it harder to shoot but safer to carry a lot of ways women actually carry because they want to look cute in their outfits and everything and we'll get to that uh a bit in a minute first pistol i have on me is a cw 45. now would this be a good choice Yes, and it's actually on the list. We'll get to that later in 9mm, though. A little bit lighter pistol, but less recoiling because 9mm. This is an extremely rare double action striker pistol. So it's not as heavy as the revolver trigger, but it is still a long double action trigger pull, which may be safer the way a lot of women uh, carry if they're carrying chamber loaded, which you should get enough training that you feel comfortable carrying chamber loaded. So about that, why is it not good in your purse? Well, let me give you a couple of scenarios. I come up behind you and put you in a rear naked choke, drag you to sleep, throw you in the trunk of my car, even though you're already unconscious, I punch you in the jaw to make sure you're out, and I take your purse and your cell phone away so you can't call help while I abduct you. What good did it do in the purse then? Okay, let's give you another scenario. How about it's just a purse snatcher, and he snatches your purse and runs away. Now, he's hanging out at his buddy's house with a few of his homies at the crib, and they're doing even more drugs. And they're feeling good because they got some money and they got some stuff, right? But now they have your gun and they have your address. Does that sound like a good scenario? They might decide to come over and pay you a visit later. 
You can't access it quickly. What if I just grab your arm and grab you from the neck somehow? Is that gonna be helpful? Maybe, maybe not. Especially if it's a pistol in the purse, even if you could get to it, which is rare, in time, and it's not chamber loaded, you don't have both hands free to rack it, and it has a safety on that you're stressed out and you forget to take off. So, uh, what other pistols do I have on me? I have the PPQSC. This is a good choice for more advanced women, women, though a bit snappy, but because of its lightweight, it's good for carry. But for a beginning shooter, for a beginning shooter, this is a striker fired and even a lighter striker than most because it's pre-cocked. So instead of double action, this is more like single action basically because it's pre-cocked striker. So it has a, a very light trigger, which I'm comfortable carrying in a holster like this in my pocket, but a newer shooter shouldn't be. If you're going to carry this, really it should be in full kydex or at least a hybrid generally speaking, okay? It should be in a full kydex, meaning hard plastic all the way around holster, or maybe a hybrid, which would be like better. If you wanna know about different holsters, I have a two-part series, major series, on concealed carry positions, how to carry and why. Okay, the last pistol I'm gonna show you before we get to the actual 10 pistols in my review, this is an LCP with an extended magazine so I can get at least a three, a two finger grip on it because with regular magazine, I can only get like a finger and a quarter, which isn't really great. Now, to my 240 pounds, this doesn't recoil that bad, but guess what? To most people it does, especially female newer shooters. Now, this is highly recommended by a lot of store employees. And this may be a good option after you've been shooting for a year and carrying and you get into it and you're like, well, I want something really, really small and really, really light. Well, light means physics means it recoils more. Bigger caliber, lighter weight pistol recoils more. Too heavy a pistol that they're going to recommend you at the store, you're not actually going to carry. You're going to leave it home or you're going to put it in your purse or leave it wherever where we've talked about it. That's not a good thing. This is the first Ruger LCP, which is actually has the safer longer, heavier, double action trigger pull. So the way a lot of women carry, this is actually a safer choice than the 2.0, they're gonna, the, the, the LCP2, they're gonna try to sell you, which is actually like action and a half, one and a half action, because it's somewhat pre-cocked, than a longer, heavier, double action trigger pull. A little harder to shoot well, but safer. Safer and ready to go is more important. Okay. So now that I showed you those pistols and we talked a little about, about carrying guys, I have a four and a half hour digital DVD. You can watch anytime once you buy it on BJJFanatics.com. That's something important because I teach you about awareness, fence tactics, how to talk somebody down. Um, and most importantly, ladies, don't be with your cell phone walking in transitional spaces from your car, from your work to your car, vice versa, with your head down, your head up your butt. Awareness, 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 and having some empty hand skills, very important. Combatives of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD, four and a half hours. I teach you everything. I have four black belts, trained 34 years, fought around the world, and I really recommend you get something like that or something similar if you're gonna carry a deadly force weapon. Okay, now we're gonna change scenarios and I'm gonna show you the 10 pistols I highly recommend. All right, welcome back, BJJFanatics.com. The plug is because I honestly think it can help you save your life and if you're thinking you need to carry a gun, well, you should get some empty hand combatives and at least learn about some combatives, street jujitsu, uh, you know, because that's important. It's important. It can save your life. Not even just the techniques, but the tactics, putting your hands up in a fence and, and being able to verbalize and de-escalate and make distance and stuff and keeping your awareness. It's all very important stuff. Okay, let's go on to the um, some clothing options first. All right, before we get to the top 10 pistols, ladies, a lot of ladies like to carry in a belly band. This one from Crossbreed seems to be highly regarded because instead of just the cheaper ones with soft cloth, it has hard kydex on one side and a leather backing on another, and then an extra wrap for retention around the pistol. So it's similar to this Crossbreed holster I have here, which is a hybrid, meaning kydex on one side and hard uh, like thick leather on the back. Now really for most men, a full kydex holster with at least a striker fired gun is often better, 
but um, this is better than just the soft cloth would be something with kydex on one side and thick leather, uh, leather on the other. A lot of women like to carry in a belly band. Another option from 511 Tactical, and I'm sure there's other companies, uh, have different kinds of Capri yoga style pants that actually can put a gun belt, not a regular belt, a gun belt through there and you can carry with a good kydex holster anything you're looking to carry ladies also uh here's one from under tech undercover the kind of yoga style pants it has kind of a holster pocket in the back and also one in the front for more appendix style carry would i carry a striker fired gun in that chamber loaded no i would not would i carry something with a safety kind of depends on your experience level would i carry a double action revolver or maybe the car pistol that has a double action trigger Yes, uh, probably, depending on your safety and uh, experience level. Okay, so first firearm is a Taurus 942 in 22 Winchester Magnum and 22 Magnum. Why 22 Magnum? Still allowed bark, but not heavy recoil. This is ultralight version. It's only like 17 and a half ounces, I believe. And um, so 22 Magnum is the way to go. Most guys are going to hand you a light 13 to 17, 16 ounce uh, revolver with 38 special. That's really too much recoil for the new shooter. An experienced shooter can handle it, but it's too much recoil and scary for a newer shooter. Hence the Taurus, new Taurus 942 and 22 Magnum, not 22 light, long rifle. And 22 Magnum with gold dots, you're going to get expansion and deep enough into the body to get to the organs, which is what you need. Next up is the Ruger LCR. The guy behind the counter is going to hand you the 13 ounce LCR in 38 special. Again, too much recoil for the new shooter. So I recommend 327 uh, Federal Magnum, 327 Magnum. Now, this LCR and 327 Magnum, their first year or two, you're not going to carry it with 327 Magnum. You're going to use 32 H&R Magnums. Critical defense is what you're looking for for this caliber. Critical defense, 32 H&R Magnum, even though the revolver is a 327 Federal Magnum. It can take 32 H&R long critical defense it also has six shots instead of five shots like most of the revolvers this size and weight at 17 ounces okay next up is the beretta tomcat 30 32 in 32 acp it's seven plus one but very safe because instead of racking the slide load it you load the magazine with seven you hit this little button forward and then the barrel pops up actually it's very unique and you can put one in the barrel and it's also a long double action, then single action, but long double action first pull. It also has a pretty usable external safety. And when you're more comfortable carrying, you probably carry it safely as long as it's pretty secure on your body with the safety off and ready to go because that long double action trigger pull makes it safer to begin with. Very light recoil. I think it's 17 ounces, but it's a 32 ACP. It's not a nine millimeter. It's not a 380. So this is very light recoil the lcp i showed you earlier is 380 and recommended to a lot of women but it has very stout recoil okay now going up to 380 acp they're kind of throwing this in there a little big for most women to carry but it can be done in a kydex holster for some bigger women out there um would be the mnp 380 easy the easy easy to rack slide easy to manipulate and you can also find it with an external safety if that's what you prefer that's a usable external safety external safeties are not carried by people experienced uh, but as long as it's a usable safety which many of them not another 380 now more recoil but less than a nine millimeter is the glock g42 six plus one of 380 acp you would want xtp or htp uh, bullets in that okay Next up, now that's a striker fired, and these are striker fired, so a little more experience as we go down the line, would be a Walther PPS M2, a little bit heavier trigger than the pistol I showed you earlier, the PPQ SC. The PPQ M2 is what you want, six, seven, or eight round magazines. Try to find the LE version or the version with the night sight, night sight if you can find it. And now we go to the XDS, the XDS Mod 2. It's a little bit of a heavier pistol like the PPS, 
for uh, a single stack nine millimeter, so a little less recoil than some of the others. Uh, if you can, find the one with the front night sight. Big fan of that and almost saved my life once. Okay, next to an M&P Shield 9mm you can get with the external safety or not, but it really isn't a very usable safety one you can take off easily um, when startled and suddenly you're fighting for your life. So, uh, recommend a good Kydex holster for this. Uh, either way, if you can, carry a belt if you can. And I showed you some options if you're not going to. The car, I showed you my pistol in 45, the CW9. Long, double action, but light, smooth trigger pull I showed you earlier. That might make this uh, a little more snappy because a little lighter than the other ones, but a little more safer if you're going to, you know, not carry it in a full Kydex holster, if you're going to put it in one of those other kind of carry methods, those yoga type pants or whatever. Um, but lighter is better for like a lady doing uh, jogging and things of that next. And then more experience, maybe you want to look into the Springfield Hellcat. 11 plus 1 or 13 plus 1 and 9 millimeter. This is a great choice. And last but not least is the Sig Sawyer P365. This is the slightly longer barreled, slightly longer grip version, the P365XL. If you're more serious about carrying or you want to mount an optic, a red dot sight, the P365XL is a great way to go. 12 plus 1 or 15 plus 1. The regular 365 is 10 plus 1, but can take the longer magazines. And um, some, some women shooters like um, American Patriot or Good Patriot, sorry, the Good Patriot, her and another female YouTuber got together and they like the regular 365. This one is a little bit longer sight radius and maybe a little less snap because it's just a little bit heavier. So those are your top 10 pistols. Plus I threw the uh, easy in there as well, which is a little bit bigger that women will actually carry on their person instead of in their purse.